Okay, I, I guess the first thing that you may see or, or perhaps miss is uh, a very slight uh, protrusion of rubber, which is the front wheel of a motorcycle, and that's kind of dissecting the, the, the gallery space in, in whole. It's an actual motorcycle, and it's almost like the tip of an iceberg. You get to see maybe 5% of the, the entirety of the vehicle, which is outside mostly, and uh, then you move into a, a series of videos, uh, one of which is a kind of a figure who's riding the motorcycle that is actually dissecting the wall uh, and they're addressing uh, roadkill kangaroos. And then there's a, another video of a figure surfing the car, the one that's behind me. So there's, there's this, a series of kind of figures that are kind of manipulating the, the objects or using these vehicles uh, in the video. So there is this, this relationship. Uh, I, I'm always interested in uh, the way that the body relates to space and in this case I was interested in a, a very big space um, that in which to experiment and in, uh, the, most of the works were shot in the sort of desert in central Australia and um, the, the, the body is dwarfed by the scale of those, uh, those spaces, these huge salt plains or desert plains and I'm, I'm very much interested in this idea of the this, this, this human scale in relation to uh, a, a very expansive and immense um, space in, in a few of the works in this show. I mean, I'm, I'm interested in this idea of, of experiencing that space and trying to somehow transmit that experience. But uh, of course, I don't go into these spaces uh, without any preconceptions. And, and one of the, the, I guess, channels of information that I have uh, or that has informed me was cinema because I, I was of course seeing these uh, films about my own land's interior before I actually get a chance to, to experience that myself. So uh, I, I always acknowledge that, that kind of complex relationship of representation and experience uh, in, in work like that, this. I mean, I'm interested in uh, the idea of a moment sort of, sort of rolling un, uncut for many minutes and I like that idea that uh, something could be very attenuated and protracted and, and that um, once, once that, that moment sort of finds a, a kind of an end or a completion or a resolution then it would jump to another moment. In this case it's a repeated sort of gesture. These gestures are very different but they're kind of repeated so time is, uh, is interesting to me, a kind of viewing time as well as a, a time of, of uh, representation there has to be a kind of uh, dialogue between the two like uh, of course I'm picking up on a lot of aesthetic cues like uh, with Mad Max but I think my love of the film was uh, more a love of the location of that film and and but in terms of structure it would be uh, m there would be many more filmmakers who who, who inform my idea of uh, the moving image uh, more than that film so this is a kind of uh, a little bit of a, a, a kind of a complex uh, answer question uh, but yeah I think maybe someone like a popular filmmaker like Gus Van Sant who who really allows you to kind of live in a, a, in a moment is, is is really something that's dear to to my kind of represent and I'm, I'm interested in this idea of showing something that was physical uh, as a part of this uh, experience or, or installation but uh, it's not so much that the object is just a, a kind of uh, prop like relegated to that that term the, it's almost as if these objects pass through a film and are transformed through this this film process so um, it's not like a, a just a kind of a, a kind of a movie prop I also like the idea that they're not only mine I've kind of maybe carjacked the, 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 the film into another narrative and that's something that I, I, I sort of really enjoy doing. I, I never stopped drawing as a child and um, I just can't remember when I started and, uh, and I'm sure that there's many artists who, who, who have that, that experience that they, 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 they don't know when the impulse starts. It seems kind of very, uh, it seems like a very natural thing but then of course I like the idea of, of um, not knowing a, a kind of a medium and trying to learn uh, the kind of language uh, of, of a medium as well as using language through a medium so um, it's, it's, it's great as a journey.